From the sound of windows creaking to laughters of children in playgrounds, the smallest of small to the biggest of big noise can trigger a bomb planted by an unknown terrorist. Former Lieutenant Commander of the Korean military is revered as a national hero for saving many of his men in a submarine accident. However, he couldn't save them all due to an unknown reason, and he's traumatized by the accident. One day, he receives a phone call from an unknown number, notifying him that a bomb has been installed at a packed soccer stadium. The explosive is a sound-sensitive one where the bomb goes off when the sound of the crowd reaches a certain decibel. Just in time, the lieutenant commander is able to save the innocent lives of the fans at the game. But that's only the start, as the terrorist remains intent on inflicting further casualties. Now, he must race against the clock to track down the terrorist and prevent further disaster. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Korean movie review by Ian Talk. I'm your host Ian, and this time around, we'll be taking a look at the new action thriller out of Korean cinema, Decibel. But before getting into the review, I'd just like to say that I'll be giving my thoughts and opinions of the movie from here on out. Therefore, there may be minor spoilers or parts about the movie that you may not want to hear before watching yourself. I'm going to keep spoilers to a minimum, but please be aware of this. Decibel was a thrilling action flick directed by Hwang Im-ho, the director who also did Monster and Spellbound. The film starred the likes of Kim Le Won, Lee Jong Seok, Jung Sang Hoon, Park Byung Hun, Cha Eun Woo, and more. It made its release not only in the Korean domestic box office, but also had global releases as well. The film saw its debut in the US, and I believe it's having showings in other countries as well, so be sure to be on the lookout for it to see if it's available in a theater near you. Anywho, Decibel was a suspenseful ride that also hit other genres as well, which I'll get into more in depth later. But first, I'd love to give a quick shout out to ExpressVPN. If you're looking to access more Korean movies but don't know where to find them, I highly suggest using ExpressVPN and accessing more Korean content. By using ExpressVPN, you can bypass your restrictions, meaning you can be from anywhere around the world and access the Korean servers, like the Korean Netflix. If you would like to access more Korean content, be sure to sign up for ExpressVPN using my link in the descriptions or expressvpn.com slash iantalk and get 49% off an annual plan, plus 3 extra months for free. Better yet, if you sign up and don't like the service, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning you can cancel anytime within the first 30 days. Okay, let's take a look at what I found to be the good parts about the film. I went into Decibel without knowing too much about it. I've only seen the short teaser trailer of the film once prior to watching the film and had very minimal knowledge of the background. And I must say, I wasn't disappointed. I think the element of surprise and not knowing what to expect built the satisfaction even greater. The film had great action, thrill, and moments of comedy as well. Also, it had really good use of auditory elements to heighten the thrill, which makes sense as the title of the movie is quote unquote, decibel after all. Moreover, the thrill was amplified as one of the locations took place at a soccer stadium, and as the World Cup is currently taking place at the time of recording, it made it even more relatable and easier for the audience to put themselves in the shoes of the characters, at least for those scenes. I love how the film didn't lose its suspense even till the end, and the conclusion had a pretty good and fun reveal to end the storyline. Furthermore, I thought that the action executed by the actors, both main and supporting, were notable. I especially took note of Lee jung Seok. It was a different side to him and I wasn't sure how to feel about his antagonist acting at first. It was different from his bad guy role in The Witch Part 2, The Other One, and VIP. And I personally thought it was a bit cringe in the beginning, but it gradually got better and better. He did a very good job at making himself look insane slash crazy. And also, it was my first time seeing Chao Nu act and will say, I was pleasantly surprised. I can totally see him being in more future works. Okay, now that we take a look at what I found to be the good parts about Decibel, let's take a look at what I found to be the bad parts about the film. The narrative of the film wasn't bad, but I can't say it was great either. The story was decent, but nothing out of this world and it wasn't all that original. Also, although the movie had a good reveal, as mentioned, the final scene and how it concluded prior to the credits coming up was a bit cringe. And finally, this is a nitpick, but I felt that certain parts, more specifically those of the submarine action scenes, were too dark and hard to see. Nothing to ruin the overall experience, but something that I felt could have been improved. 
All in all, Decibel had good elements of action and thrill, and was able to keep me entertained through its 110 minute duration. If you enjoyed films such as Steel Rain and Escape from Mogadishu, I'd recommend giving this a go. I'll give Decibel a ticket price value of $11. And that concludes today's review on Decibel. Thank you to everyone that watched till the end, and I hope this review has given you some insight into the film. If you've seen or are planning to watch the movie, I'd love to hear your thoughts about the film, so please leave a comment or join the Ian Talk Telegram group and we can discuss over there. If you would like to access more Korean content, be sure to sign up for ExpressVPN using my link in the descriptions to get 49% off an annual plan. Please also don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and would like more video movie reviews. Once again, thank you to everyone that watched till the end, and I'll see you guys in the next one.